good story. <laughs> I'm pacing. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, so early in camp, he gets sick and throws up in the ring. And so I start, like, cleaning the throw up, up, right? And then I look over at him, and he's taking his gloves and his hand wraps off, right? And I say, hey, what are you doing? He says, I'm finished. I says, what do you mean you're finished? And, and he says, I just threw up. And I says, I got to show him I'm the boss, not him, right? And, I, I mean, at some point, I, you know, because, like, he was, like, boss be, trying to be the boss you know so I says no no we're no we're not through he says uh, well I, I have no I have no hand wraps on and I have no gloves so I says it doesn't matter I said let's go to work he I, so I worked three rounds of mitts with him with beer fist I have pictures at home he's blood on his knuckles I, I'm glad I didn't get hit that day but, <laughs> but uh, he we the three rounds uh, of being him working mitts with, with the beer hands was unbelievable. How hard was the power? How um, vicious? Fucking unbelievable. It, um, it was like, well, the next day, I think he got mad at me for that day, and he hit me a uh, right hook, and he knocked where? me. He knocked me out in the chin. In the chin? Yeah, oh. I didn't go down, but I didn't know where I was for a little while. Oh wow! Uh, but um, so but he got he got me he got me back a little bit, but then uh, but that was the. the the day I, I made him work with, with no, it's just because, like, I says, you know, you you can't dictate what we do here. I says, yo, I'm, I says, I, I'm, the, I'm the leader here. Yeah? And he just looked at me like I was fucking crazy. Yeah? But Mike, um, I had some good, uh, I, I like Camel Mike. I love catching him because he was so explosive. But he was always a little bit dangerous because he always like threw an extra one or two punches. That's what. That's how I got hit with the right hook. Mm -hmm. He said, "That's your fault." He says, "Because you usually call the right hook after the left hook." I said, "Yeah, but I didn't this time." He said, "Yeah, but usually you do." I said, "Well, it's not my fault. It's your fault." <laughs> and he just walked away. So, how hard was he? The hardest puncher you worked with? Yeah. Yeah. Like compare like the, the power that he used. Klitschko and him are similar, both really, really heavy-handed guys, but Tyson's speed is so much more. It, the, the explosion of the shot is like, it's so much faster and so forth, and he, and he catches a lot of guys, he doesn't, you don't really see it coming, and that's why he's, uh, I think, a little bit of a better puncher, even so though he's a smaller person, though. When you would catch the punch, would it just go down your whole body? Like, how would your body feel? Uh, you you would definitely feel it and know it. You know, see, he he was a really really hard puncher. I mean, but the, the what what made it the, the explosion though was the speed. His speed was better than any other heavyweight I've ever worked with. 